I grew up with that cultural assumption that some musicians are gifted, some are talented, and most aren't. Yeah. And I think our society around the world really reinforces that idea that, you know, there's the superstar that was born with a microphone in their hand or right. a guitar in their hands. Um, and they are the amazing musicians and the rest of us are only ever going to be okay. Um, I, I feel, I said, I re feel really strongly about this. I hate that cultural assumption mm. at this point because I've seen how untrue it is and I've seen how easy it can be to learn the skills that most of us have, have assumed are out of reach. I think the, the most interesting research on this subject has been done by a guy called um, Anders Ericsson. He's a university professor in the States and he got famous for the 10,000 hour rule, which um, was named by Malcolm Gladwell right. in his book Outliers and is actually often misinterpreted. But Professor Erickson's research has two major findings. And if you want to know about this, he just wrote a book called Peak, which is fantastic, it goes really into detail on, you know, the idea of talent versus hard work and what the truth is. And anyway, he, the two major findings from his research is that there is no skill we've discovered where you need some kind of inbuilt talent mm. to be good at it. There's no skill that is inaccessible to people to learn. And the other big finding is that although your natural ability levels, which do vary from person to person, granted, although they can help you out at the start and get you up to an OK standard quicker than other people, they are not a limiting factor in how good you can become. In fact, that's all down to your training. So those two findings basically disprove the idea of talent. And this is a man who, you know, he doesn't have an agenda. He, you know, if, he, if I said this, you might be like, well, he has a music training website. Right. He wants to tell people that. This is a university professor who has spent literally 30 years researching talent and trying to find an example where you can point to it and say, yes, that requires talent. These people are talented. And he has yet to find one. So that, to me, backs up a lot of previous research. There was a good book um, several years ago called Talent is Overrated, which did a good job of summarizing the research up to that point. And the bottom line is it's not a real thing. You know, we have these assumptions about it and it is a lovely romantic idea. And I think the musicians to whom it does come a bit easier like the idea of thinking that they are talented. They have a gift. They are born to do this. There's a great romanticism about that. But the reality is science doesn't back that up. The facts aren't in favor of talent. The facts say if you work hard, if you work in the right way, if you train and practice in the right way, you can succeed just as much as any other human being, which I think is a really encouraging message for anyone who, like me, grew up thinking they weren't talented and weren't a natural in music. Yeah, totally. Because what you just said, like some musicians kind of want to, or people want to believe that, oh, I'm, you know, this naturally gifted musician there's also kind of the flip side of that where someone thinks that they maybe can't be good at music but really it's like an excuse to not do the work because it's like oh well i don't have the natural gift but it's like you said it's all that work that you have to put into it to get there uh it's almost like you can have a little bit of talent but do a ton of work and be amazing versus someone who maybe does have a certain amount of of natural gifts and but they're not working on it and you know Who's going to go further with those two things? It's, you know, you, you want to, no matter what, no matter where you are, putting in the work is, is hugely important to succeeding in, in what you're doing. Absolutely. I, I'm sure you found the same as me. Um, we've started a podcast last year, which has given me the opportunity to talk to some amazing musicians and music educators, a lot of whom anyone would look at and say, oh, yes, they're a talented musician. And what's been fascinating is every time I ask that question, you know, how much of your success has been talent versus hard work? The answer is pretty much unanimously, it's, it's hard work. You know, maybe I had a bit of an advantage to begin with. And yes, I started early, but actually most of it is just that I've worked really hard to get this good. Um, and I think that's, uh, I think that's accurate. Like that, that's what you see time and again. And one thing I loved about that book peak that I mentioned was that he gives a few examples um, in the music world of people we would assume were prodigies, you know, people like Mozart, where you just think, oh, yeah, he was the one in a million. But actually, if you look at how he spent the first 20 years of his life, it was an incredibly large amount of hard work, all focused on music. And if someone does that kind of training, they're going to get maybe not as good as Mozart, but incredibly good. Where, where do you want to tell people to go to, to learn more about you and your site and, and uh, what you're doing? 
Sure. So our main website is musical-u.com. That's the letter U. And on that site, you'll find over a thousand free articles and tutorials on pretty much everything we've talked about today, whether it's goal setting and planning or playing chords by ear or improvising or songwriting even. And yeah, hopefully that will give you a great starting point for exploring some of these ideas. Awesome. All right, so I hope you found that information useful. If you'd like to learn more, you can download our chord and melody writing cheat sheet by tapping here on the screen. It's got charts and tips that will make writing your next song a little bit easier for you. Uh, also, if you haven't yet subscribed to our YouTube channel to stay updated on our latest songwriting videos, you can tap our logo on the screen for that. And I'll also have links for that stuff below this video. So thanks a lot for checking this out. I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.